Hey guys, so I recently got back from Arizona because I went to the Tucson Gem and Mineral Showcase, which is basically the biggest gem show in the whole entire world. It lasts from the end of January to mid-February, and it's just a bunch of gem shows scattered all over the city of Tucson. And in case you didn't know, one of my biggest passions in life is gemstones, geology, crystals, all that sort of stuff. I absolutely I'm in love with crystals. Like I think about gemstones 24 seven. They're always on my mind. I dream about them. I'm always re researching about them. So of course going to the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show is like a dream come true for me. And I mean, I've wanted to go for so long. So this year I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go to this gem show. I'm gonna make things happen. This is gonna be the year of doing things that I wanna do. So me and my mom, AKA Lady in the Garden, who I love so much, decided to plan this trip to Tucson and go and see the gem show and see all the amazing crystals. So I tried to vlog a bit for you. Um, I just tried to, you know, take video of the really, really amazing crystals that I saw, the ones that really got me excited, just the best of the best. Um, I'm not the best at vlogging because I will admit I do get quite nervous when I'm in public filming around people. It just, I don't know, I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't want to be filming in front of people. But I'm, that's just something that I have to get used to. So I tried my best and I hope you like the clips that I did get. So I'm going to insert that at the end of the video. It was just so amazing. I'm so happy that I got to go. I originally wanted to go down there to buy crystals and gemstones to sell in my Etsy shop um, because I thought that would be the best place to get really amazing crystals. However, it was really, really, really overwhelming planning this trip. I mean, me and my mom have never been to Tucson. We didn't know anything about the gem show really. The information online, I don't know, it's just the type of thing where you have to go there and it has to be a learning experience for you. And I also didn't have my business visa to just go down to the States and bring a bunch of crystals back to Canada to sell. Um, the Canadian dollar is so weak right now. So anything I buy in the States just cost me an arm and a leg. And, you know, transporting the crystals back, how do I carry, you know, 100 pounds of crystals in my luggage? So we decided that this trip this year was just going to be a learning experience. We were just going to go down there, figure out what shows were the best, figure about, figure out, I don't know, just, you know, all the little details. And then next year we can go back on a serious buying trip and we'll have everything sorted out. So this was definitely a huge learning experience. Oh my gosh, it was really, really overwhelming. I'm so happy I went, but it was so overwhelming. So I ended up just buying a couple of really beautiful crystals that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. And I'm gonna show you those in a second. And I also bought a few things to sell in my shop because I saw the most beautiful lapis palm stones and black moonstone, but most of the stuff I bought, I've already sold. And then the last day of the trip, thankfully it was the last day of the trip, I came down with a really, really bad flu. I don't know, I think it was because Probably, you know, traveling at the airport, there's so many germs and then going to the gem show, there's thousands of people touching these gems. And then also for some reason in Tucson, I just couldn't sleep. I don't know if it was because I was wired because I was so excited about seeing the crystals or what, but I felt like I was pretty much only getting like two hours of sleep at night. I just would lay there in bed. I'd be thinking about crystals and I don't know, just so excited for the next day. So I think that might've lowered my immune system and I just got the worst blue and then of course down there I didn't really have any of my you know natural remedies to do so when I got back to Canada I drank lots of tomato tea and just rested for almost a week I just you know really had to take time off and rest because it was such a bad flu but I'm finally feeling better so I'm happy that's over. Yes, holistic habits does get sick sometimes. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling right now and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the couple of crystals that I got and the jewelry that I got and then I will insert the clips from the trip. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first off, I have to show you my baby. This is the piece of polished blue calcite I bought. Now this is just the most stunning piece of calcite I've pretty much ever seen in my life. It weighs 43 pounds and I carried this as a carry-on on the airport or on the airplane. Um, yeah, 
it was really tough to do but it was worth it 100 percent. this is so beautiful like the whole thing is flawless see it's kind of got this really nice wave shape when i look at it it reminds me of looking like on a nice summer day when you're just laying in the park looking up at the sky and seeing the blue sky with the clouds and just i don't know it just brings me such a feeling of peace it was such a good price like basically it was the same price as pieces that were like that big so i couldn't pass this up it was just calling me and i'm just figuring out where i can put this in my apartment because it's pretty big but uh i'll figure that out and then the next piece i got was this beautiful citrine point um right now i just have it on this table right here this is a piece of black tourmaline with mica i didn't buy this at the gem show but i'll just quickly show you and then this is my selenite one of my selenite lamps it's really tall but yeah this is the uh citrine point that i bought at the gem show i bought it at the 22nd street show which was pretty much i think one of my favorite shows and the reason i fell in love with this i've been wanting a really nice citrine point for a while I'll just take this over here um i've been wanting a really nice citrine point for a while but when I saw this one, I knew that I had to have it because it's really hard to capture on camera, but it has so many rainbows in it. It's just like every angle, there's a rainbow. Um, I don't know if you could see some of those rainbows, but it is just so absolutely stunning. Now for jewelry, I got this really beautiful sterling silver cuff with a labradorite stone in it and I've actually never owned a cuff because I have really really small wrists they're about five inches and three quarters so they're very tiny and cuffs usually just don't look very good on my wrist or they'll just fall off because they're so big um, and it's small enough that I can work with it I'm just going to cut off a little bit of the silver and just kind of make it a bit smaller, make it fit my wrist a bit better. I love the intricate silver work. I just really appreciate it and the time that goes into making it. And it's cool because this is the first ring that I ever bought. I bought this at like a pawn shop or whatever. It's a sterling silver Labradorite ring. And I just think it matches really nicely with this cuff. So yeah, they're really pretty. And then this is a pendant that I bought from the same guy. It's sterling silver as well and this is a high altitude Himalayan quartz. So it's really really clear and it just looks like a dagger. I just thought it was so cool and I fell in love with it right away. So yeah, I got a pendant and a cuff. <laughs> It's a rose quartz bath. Oh my gosh! I would love to have this in my bathroom. I would sleep in it and bathe in it. This is a chair made out of quartz. So I would have this chair in my living room and then this rose quartz bath in my bathroom. Huge amethyst. Ooh, why is it so bright on my hand? A big rough rose quartz and then a huge cave of this beautiful light amethyst. gosh this rose quartz lamp is amazing it's so big oh I wish I had that it looks like a salt lamp but it's rose quartz it's so beautiful there's so many beautiful minerals this apophyllite with still bite is my favorite I keep filming amethyst, but this one is just so beautiful. It's crystals all around. And this one, these are all really, really unique. This one's growing kind of like a cactus quartz. Look at that. It's so beautiful. These ones are wrapped up, but they have really nice growths of calcite 
This one has nice growths on it. Woo! It's cool. Beautiful rose quartz bowls. I would wash my face every morning in one of these. So beautiful. Yeah, you are the same height. So pretty. It's a what? Oh, I think it's like a bird bath. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, I just found my dream blue calcite. This is so beautiful, I need this. Oh my gosh. Really cool quartz. More really cool quartz dishes. So cool, a lamp with this clear quartz donut shaped polished bit in the center. Petrified wood and rose quartz sinks. All sorts of sinks, so beautiful. I'd love to just eat out of a rose quartz bowl every day. So stunning. I want it all. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these. It's got a little world in it. So beautiful. Celestite. More beautiful amethyst. These pieces are so beautiful. Amethyst heaven. <laughs> so much amethyst. Look at all these amazing cathedrals. We got something growing on that one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna faint. These are so beautiful. This is amazing. Mom, I just want to cry. Oops, ah, my hair. Oh my god. Now that is one big crystal. Huge. Imagine trying to get this home in our luggage. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's relax and just wiggle down a little bit. <laughs> 